Hi, my name is Liam McCall, and today we're going to take a look at using the dodge and burn technique. Dodge and burn is a professional technique that all forms of photographers use on the daily. Within this technique, you're basically just brightening or darkening specific areas of an image. And whenever you're shooting portraits, it's really just gonna make that body just really pop and it's gonna add some depth to the image. So are you all ready to learn this? Let's hop into Photoshop. All right, so welcome back to Photoshop. We are now gonna dive into the dodge and burn technique. So as you can see here, I got the frequency separation done. Now I need to go down here and click on this little button down here and I'm gonna go to curves. Now please keep in mind guys that there are probably hundreds of different ways to apply a dodge and burn technique to the photos, but like I said in the first video that you watched, this is the best fit my needs. I need the best results to the time that I'm putting into these images. So this is the quickest and most efficient way for my needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little hand adjustment here and this is how I modify the curve. So let's go ahead and start with the dodge. So I'm gonna find a highlight area. You know, her hand would do, but that's a little too bright. This is a little more mellow. And I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag. So don't freak out whenever you see this, guys. You can make it as bright or as dark as possible. I recommend going just kinda in between there, as bright as you could possibly ever believe the image going. I'm gonna release it and I'm gonna hit Command or Control I to invert that and we are going to basically turn this into a mass now and I'm going to do that one more time for the burn areas now so I'm going to go back into curves I'm going to click the little hand and I'm going to find a nice shadowy area just like right here on her neck this would work perfect so I'm going to click and drag downward I'm going to release and hit command or control I and invert that so let's just go ahead and name these burn and dodge I'm gonna highlight them, put them in a new folder called Dodge and Burn. All right, so you can start with either one. It doesn't really matter. I like to start with the Dodge. Now, earlier, whenever we were adjusting these curves, that is the brightest the image could ever possibly get whenever you're kind of editing this mask, if you will. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the brush tool. I gotta unrelease the mixer and I need to go back to the regular brush. And I'm gonna go to flow and I like to keep this very low. I like between two and five. So I'm just gonna go with three here. I'm gonna make the brush size a little smaller and I'm gonna zoom in. So I need to invert my colors and go to a white because we have a black mask right here. Then as you can see, now I'm able to start painting right here. So let's undo that. I'm gonna go to hardness down to zero. So please keep in mind that there are multiple different techniques to applying the dodge and burn. Um, kind of like what I said earlier, guys, this is just the best fit my needs. Whenever I'm working on these portraits, I actually just like to pronounce the highlights and whites a little bit more and just kind of darken the shadows a little bit more just to kind of help add a little bit more depth to the image. I'm not doing anything crazy here. So let's just go ahead and start with the forehead here and I'm just gonna slightly just kind of drag down. Like I said, guys, these are very subtle changes here, very subtle. So gonna go over the nose right here, just kind of where the light's hitting, you know, the sides of her mouth and her lips. And I also like to touch up above the eye. I think that's an important place that a lot of people miss. And as you can see here, I turn it on and off. It's very subtle, but it does make a difference. All right, and I'm just gonna work my way down on her body. I'm gonna touch up the neck a little bit. Now, her, her hand is actually really bright, so I'm actually not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on the shoulder here. And uh, let's go ahead and enter the burn phase. And I like to just hit the eyebrows once or twice. A little bit on the makeup here, right above her eyes. And uh, let's work on this nose. All right, working on the neck now, just adding a little bit more depth to the image with these shadowy areas. And there we go. Now, Whenever you start touching up the hair and the clothing areas with the dodge and burn technique, um, I like to adjust the flow up to 15 to 20 ish percent. So with the skin, this is definitely too much, but in these areas, you'll just notice that it's just a lot easier to work with. So 
dodge. I'm just going to kind of hit her hair here just a little bit. See, I actually think this is a little too much. I'm going to bring it down to about nine. And like I said, guys, I'm really just pronouncing the brighter and darker areas of the image. I'm not necessarily going after any, you know, like fashion style look here. I just want to add some more depth to the image. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go into burn. And basically the same story, except this time I'm just hitting the darker areas of the image. Now, since this hand was really bright, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of burn it just a little bit. Just so that we don't have any like super white looking knuckles here. Okay, so I am happy with this. Now like I said guys, this is just a real quick dodge and burn just to kind of show you guys uh, what I like to do in my images. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide that folder. And look at that. Very subtle but it makes sense like it just it adds a little bit more depth and it just kind of gives it a little bit more of that professional look to it now i could spend a lot more time usually when i do a dodge and burn on a paid job you know i'll spend anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes on each image all right so that is everything i have for the dodge and burn portion of this video uh, be sure to check out the next one because we're going to go into the liquify tool and all the other little bit of fine tuning i like to do before i export the image all right, so that wraps up part two of this three-part video series. I know I really believe in this dodge and burn technique. It really helped bring my work to the next level. So uh, as always, if you liked the video, you learned something today, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now be sure to check out the next video. It's the last video in this three-part video series. I'm going to teach you all a little bit about using the liquify tool as well as cleaning up that messy hairline and just fine-tuning that image, getting it ready for export, all right? So as always, get out there, start shooting, have some fun. My name is Lane McCall.